I think the move within the industry is general optimism about Trump's pro-growth pro mm -hmm. uh, strategy. And, 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 and me also. Regulatory environment. Regulatory, rationalized tax regulation reform. from yeah. being onerous. Tax reform is, corporate tax reform is over, dramatically over. So all those are very strong positives. What's giving everybody um, a headache is all the discussion of, in the auto industry about tariffs and border taxes. Border because taxes. when you have vehicles at our price points, you start throwing around 30, 35% tariffs and 20% border taxes. But the currency is going to adjust. Yeah, come on, Steve. Give me a I'm break. I'm just saying what they're saying. I don't, I, I, I'm not saying that, all right? And, uh, that's the problem is the how, retailers how, don't believe it at all. I don't, I, the I don't buy it. The manufacturers don't believe it. I don't buy it. into that at all. So let's take But the I'm going to get an angry note from Larry Lindsay who's going to say the currency will adjust. Yeah, that is, it's all a nice theory. And, and really, how does, how does the world economy handle a dollar that's 25% stronger or 20% stronger? Right? You know, it's very disruptive if, if indeed that happens. It's not so easy. But let, let's just take uh, tariffs. We already have a 25% tariff on trucks coming into the United States. The two exemptions are for NAFTA, Mexico and Canada. If NAFTA blows up and those tariffs come back on those truck plants in Mexico, that's very disruptive to the industry. Mm -hmm. Border adjustment taxes. I hear people, Republicans in the administration say 160 countries have border taxes, uh, border adjustment taxes. No, they don't. They have a value added tax. That applies to both imports and exports. Right. It's a consumption tax within the marketplace. Right. So that's not true. And I get a headache, uh, you know, at the quality of the discussion. You know, uh, BMW gets slammed uh, because there's too many BMWs <coughs> in America and enough, not enough Chevys in New York. Well, the facts are BMW's largest plant in the world is in South Carolina. They produce more in the United States than, than they sell in the United States. They're a net exporter. What but more that, do you want as, from a company? But as a result, and, and by the way, you, you don't see so many Chevys in Germany. They're called Opals. General Motors I has been one. in Germany I since in 1910. Russia. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.